Hello, me Trev. Welcome today. I got mail. Yes, I just went out to get some mail. I got mail. Yes, welcome. Me Trev. Today's Monday. Start of a new day. Start of a new week. <laughs> 18th of May. Yes. May there be the 18th. Yes. And hey, it's all going. Oh, that's good. Yes, look, um, I've been busy with this thing, that my new computer, which I've got, and, um, yes, a lot of fun and games. <laughs> so, look, I'm, I've got there, I've sort of got there, actually, so, um, still a few things, a few little glitches in it, but, uh, no, we're doing all right, we're rolling along pretty well, so, that's pretty good. Now, what have I got in the mail? What if this... Oh, this uh, bowel cancer. National Bowel Cancer Screening Program. Uh, I've done this, uh, I do this every couple of years. And uh, they send you out to do a bowel testing. Yeah. In other words, they, you know, you put your, um, your droppings in your toilet, you know what. And you've got to put a little prick in there, a couple of little pricks in there scoop out the little sediments and then you pull it in a little vial or something and then you send it away to see whether you're negative or positive. So the last time last time I'd done this, my uh, bowel cancer uh, testing, um, it proved negative. So that was really good. So that's good. Everything's clear. No cancer or anything like that. So, But look, you know, I know I don't have any cancers in my bowel, but well, it pays to test it out, you just don't know. Because sometimes, well, I guess you may have bowel cancer that you don't even know of. And you, and, uh, you don't realise you have it. It'll be there. You may not feel it. It's there. So, this is what it's all about. So I've got to do the testing. To be on the safe side. Anyway, I'm going to go into town and... Uh, do my errands. I've got to get my brother a, another iPad. No, not an iPad, it's um, what do you call um, a tablet. Yeah, I keep calling them iPads, I don't know why. I, but they're actually called tablets. All he needs is a tablet so he can, you know, watch YouTube videos um, because he goes to hospital three times a week on dialysis. So he's there for hours. So um, he uses his iPad, his tablet while. He's lying back for us so many hours, so you know it breaks the boredom. So what his old his old um, tablet wore off. So it's like my computer; it's worn off. <laughs> I had to go and get another one. So now with my brother, I had a look at his uh, tablet, and I have so many so much trouble getting into it. He wants to shut down all the time. So look, I think it's time to get a, another one. <laughs> so I've got to go and get another one for him. Mm, another tablet for him. Anyway, so the computer's working pretty well, so anyway, I'll put it on this vlog, the result from last Friday of uh, my computer. Please enjoy it. <laughs> anyway, catch it. May Trev, welcome. Today is Friday, end of the week. Start of a new weekend. Yeah, thank God it's Friday. <laughs> What have I got, Trev? Well, <laughs> I've just got myself a new computer desktop. Yes, a new one. What happened to the old one? Well, I've had lots of issues with the old computer. Hard drive, the C hard drive was getting full. It's absolutely chocolate block full. And trying to back it up onto the um, external drives, my two external drives. One external drive is full, and the other one is almost full. <laughs> so, the computer seems to have had enough. So, I bought this uh, new computer. So, I started up the old computer and to me, it won't let me into the Windows with my password, P. 
PIN number. It's actually, you have a PIN number to get into your Windows. So my usual PIN number um, always has me going into the Windows, but this time, no, it won't. It won't allow me. So, why? It tells me to retrieve my password, to get another password, and all of a sudden it just went blank. Everything but just went back to the start again. So it's not letting me to choose a PIN number whatsoever. Um, what do I do? So, what do you reckon? I think my computer has crashed. <laughs> So I, that's what I put it down to, yeah. It actually crashed because my my music um, my music player, I think it's called Cyber Power, Cyber Cyber Power or something like that, and it's kept telling me that there's that it needs more space. There's not enough space. There's no space. <laughs> so I think the computer's had enough. What do you reckon? You reckon it's crashed? Yeah. It's doing stupid things really, it's doing silly things. It's doing things that are, um, you know, it's it's gone haywire. <laughs> so I think I bought this in very good time. Now, now my computer's crashed, as far as I'm concerned. And so we throw out the old, bring in the new. This is a 2 terabyte, 2 terabyte Acer HDMI, yeah, very well packed. Now I've got this for Harvey Norman, thank you Harvey Norman, <laughs> thank you Jerry Harvey, yes, and you get a keyboard with it, this is Windows 10, 2 terabyte, that's if you're running video, um, videos and soft music, recording music, you will need two terabyte. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, that's what you need. You can't just sort of get a, um, just a normal computer, a $500 computer or a $600 computer, put music and uh, data and stuff, things like that. Um, it won't work because it's not enough. You'll need a two terabyte to put everything on. Most of the stuff, all the stuff for Windows on the old computer is all backed up on my um, external drive, so that's one good thing. So all the videos, my photos, my music, um, it's all backed up. So don't you worry, I won't lose them. I haven't lost them. <laughs> so what it comes with a, um, a warranty, a 12 months guarantee. So in 12 months time, I can take it back and get it serviced. Yeah, so that's pretty good, eh? So in 12 months time, so if it breaks down between now and next year, well, I can take it back. Um, if it's unforeseen, that I won't have to pay for it. So, I even got a keyboard with it. That's good. I've got batteries. Oh, I didn't know keyboards take batteries. I really don't know. Anyway, what else have we got? We've got a, uh, all this uh, connections. And uh, we've got the instructions. Who's these? The instructions. <laughs> there, I know. <laughs> uh, I know. I'm building this computer. I've got to put this computer together. Just like you, Rick, putting your guitar together, your electric guitar. We go to Rick NJP Vlog. Uh, he's building this. Uh, he's actually put a, uh, a Fender Strat Stratocaster and uh, pulled the pieces to try and get it straightened up and everything. And, uh, and I hope him and uh, put it all together again. I like the colour too. I like the colour of that guitar. I'm, I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous, Rick. <laughs> mine's a Fender. Mine's a Telecaster. Yours is a Stratocaster, I think. I think it's a Stratocaster, yeah. By well, the looks of it. <laughs> and then they are beautiful guitars to play. Really, very simple, very easy because of the long neck. 
the next I want more longer than the um, than the acoustic ordinary acoustic guitars. So you can play the you can twelve you can play the twelve bars on it, whatever you like. And we've got the power supply. So all I have to do now disconnect the old computer, the Wi-Fi, shut everything down. Uh, disconnect that and then reconnect this one yeah so it should have it up and running and uh, Windows 10 home 64-bit that's what it is 8th gen general Intel core processor NVIDIA uh, 8 gigabyte DR4 memory, got a hard drive, 2 terabyte hard drive, solid state, 256 gigabyte solid state drive, two, you've got a DVD rewritable drive, and we've got a card reader as well, so that's good. Uh -huh. That looks immaculate. Looks good. I've had my other computer for three years, so usually about two to three years, about that time, I think that's when the computer's tend to fail after a while. Yeah, so it looks pretty good for me. Got the, uh, all the cables there to connect, so I'm gonna make sure everything's right. There, there you go, my new computer. I'll be happy with my videos, YouTube videos, and my music up and running. So, now we took taking the keyboard out. It's a very thin, the keyboards are getting thinner. <laughs> Very thin, aren't they? Yeah. New keyboard. And I was wondering why the um, batteries. Why I didn't think I thought that might take batteries, but no, I think the batteries. So it looks like the batteries for the uh, for the mouse. <laughs> for the mouse. So the mouse came with it. Yes. So that's what. The, um. Now I can't even find the battery. Where did I put it? <laughs> Somewhere. Oh, there it is. There are three batteries. They're only. Uh... Oh. So things are getting changing. Things are getting different. The way they used to be. And uh, we've got two. Where's the other battery? I thought there was three. Oh, there's the other one. It's hiding. We've got two. Well, we've got two. We've got separate batteries. I guess this might be the, for the mouse. I don't know what this one's for. It might be for the keyboard. I didn't think keyboards take uh, batteries. Perhaps it does. Perhaps it does. I really didn't know. I don't think you have to plug it in because it's a battery. It might be a Wi-Fi. Weird. Things are changing, as I said, you know. Things are changing differently. And, uh, you know, I'd rather use the mouse rather than uh, using keys and things like that like they do on laptops. I'm not a fan, I'm not a real fan on laptop computers. And the same with the, the, um, with the tablets. I'm not, I'm not a fan of tablets. So, I'm a desktop man. You want to get the real thing. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to try and see if we can uh, undo, disconnect the old one and uh, get this one up and running. <laughs> okay, now, there's the old computer, the HP Pavilion. Yeah, that is had it. If you want to know what that is, that's my, y my Wii U game console. Yeah, I play my Wii U games there. And, uh, yeah. Zoom in instead of zooming out. <laughs> that's my printer. And that's my home landline phone. I don't ever use that much, really. 
some people ring up I don't, but I don't ring out on that I use my mobile it's more convenient to me so and that's my printer of course brother brother printer printer so I've got everything else I've got the screen the screen's pretty good actually I've had no problem with the screen and uh, my keyboard actually what I found out about those batteries um, one of this two two batteries for the mouse and uh, oh, get this well that way that's right that's better <laughs> two for the mouse and the other one is a bit bigger battery I was trying to figure out what that was for yes it is for the keyboard actually the keyboard is actually Wi-Fi yeah Wi-Fi keyboard so there's no cable there's no connection or anything like that so that's pretty cool so um, and of course yes and that's uh, what that is that's my um, cassette player there I, I um, use cassettes I don't use it much now these days because I've got this one, this is a little miniature um, super cassette capture. I can transfer music from cassettes to um, to the USB. Yeah, so um, I do that through Audacity. Audacity site. And what I've got here, this is actually a, um, a card converter reader. So it has all sorts of slots for your different cards for the SD card from your camera um, your macro from the camcorder um, and you've got some more slots at the end I don't know what that one is for but this is a Dick Smith brand now, of course Dick Smith doesn't operate a store anymore so uh, but I've still got this but it still works and that's my um, USB um, well, you can put a whole whole heap of USB stuff on there. Be one would put too many because sometimes you can actually the computer would just go spasms. The computer will say, "Hey, hey, hey! You've got too many too many plugins here somewhere. <laughs> too many plugins." So, um, and of course, that's my um, little DVD player, actually external DVD player. Because what's happened is that player doesn't the drawer of that. If I press that button, it doesn't even come out. It's stuck in there, so that so that's kaput. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I bought I bought the the CD DVD external um, that just plugs into the back of my USB. So I may not use that now because the new one I've got has the um, DVD uh, or the disc drive in it. So that's pretty good. <laughs> So I might keep this one on hand, just in case, as emergency, you never know. So, uh, anyway, so I've got to go and hook it up. And what this is here, that is actually my uh, pizza, or my uh, music, when I'm, um, that's the Behringer mixer. Yeah. So, all that does, I just put the microphone in there. No, the microphone in that one, the mic jack, the guitar in that one. So I never worry about these. Um, that's all, of course, that's the headphone jack. And I use that, an interface. An interface goes from that console, well, that through there into the console. And the USB gets connected into the computer. Yeah, so then it's running, then it's running through. Um, onto my hard drive, so then I could, you know, everything goes onto the computer, onto my, uh, so the, the Crystal Audio Engine can read it. Now, I've actually um, uninstalled Crystal Audio Engine for my recording, so I have found a new software, so uh, it's free, free download. Um, I've still got to discover it, find out what it's all about see if it's any good so it looks interesting really when I looked on the website um, see, see what it looks like and see how we go mm, something different <laughs> right, there you go and what that other screen is for that is of course for the Wii U when I play my Wii U games so those two screens come on together really and that's Wi-Fi that, that one and uh, that screen comes on 
So I can play my um, Wii games. Mario Kart 8. I love playing Mario Kart. <laughs> Racing. Yes. So, uh, yeah. And of course, it's my keyboard. It's usually got a lot of junk on it. I usually cover it because of dust. Keep the dust out of it. Um, usually, use it as a, like a little desk sort of thing, you know. And, uh, and that TV over there, that's the one I use for, I use Telstra TV. I can watch YouTubes on that. I can watch YouTube on that. Um, that's a little Telstra TV console. I can watch YouTube, but I can't comment or like um, on that. Thing like that. Same to the view, viewing. And uh, so, and also the TV, for local television stations. I watch that on there as well. This one is just about to go, really. Um, that screen, that's another DVD screen. The DVD play on that doesn't work. It's um, not very good, so I think that needs to go to the trash. That one, oh, that's, that's my photos. I put a, US, a USB of photos on there. It just flips over photos. Yeah. So, there you go. Bit of a tour of my audio, <laughs> audio tour. I'm just seeing look, the back of this new computer and comparing with the other, the old computer. Now I've actually disconnected the old computer and this is the new one. And everything looks virtually the same. So we've got a um, the connection here for the uh, monitor looks like an adapter, very much adapter. So I think the monitor cable will fit onto that, no problem. So then we've got the mouse. I'm just going to put some batteries in this mouse. <laughs> so I'm getting there. So I've, actually, I disconnected all the connections off the old computer, and the Wi-Fi is. I've turned the Wi-Fi off at the moment. I like to, when I build, when I reconnect things, I like to start from scratch. You know, you turn your power off first, everything. Um, I hate jumping the gun, sort of thing, you know. So, which way is this battery going to go? We'll see, eh? Doesn't say which way that goes. But anyway. Um... I'll just see, put it in and see what happens anyway. It's a spring. Mm. No. Uh, might be that big battery might go in there. Oops. Yeah. Pretty well sealed. They seal a lot of things. They even seal the batteries. <laughs> so, uh, Look at that alkaline, good batteries too. Alkaline. Uh, looks like that one. Oh, I see. Got a pair of glasses. One A. That's a one A. Anyway, we'll put it in there and see what happens. And something there stopping it. Oh, she works. Got the light going. <laughs> yeah. See the light? That's on. Yeah. As soon as I put the battery in and turned it on, she even got a switch on an off switch. So I'll turn that off. So that's good. <laughs> so it only takes one battery. And, uh, let's go that way. So we've got the mouse working. And then this keyboard takes batteries as well. <laughs> this is Acer. This is the, um, the whole computer is actually Acer. That's what it's called. So we're going to try and open this thing. I don't know how to open it. Got a knack to it somewhere. <laughs> now here we are. We've got the computer there. I've got all the connections in. And uh, the... Uh, phone, the 
Wi-Fi plug in there. That's what it is. I think. So the the AC plug. I've got everything plugged in, but I don't have to worry about cables for the mouse and the key and the keyboard. <laughs> so everything is um, cordless. Well, let me put it that way. So I think I've got everything right. I've got the computer screen attached to that. Um, yeah, and the speakers and the phone connection. So at the moment the power is all off. So what I'm going to do is turn the main power on. So I've just got to go down over to there. Turn on the uh, power supply. As I said, I like to turn everything off when I'm doing connections. So that's all going to go on. Let's see if this. Uh, let's see if this horror box will work. <laughs> turn it on. Ooh, lighting up. <laughs> oh, look at the screen. <laughs> Acer. Okay. So I don't know what to do. Oh, I've got to just let it do what it wants to do and just follow the prompts. I think that's what it does these days. It, everything just comes up automatically. It's lighting up. Yes, everything's good. The printer's working because it's on. Did you hear that before? Yeah. Just a moment. <laughs> yeah, just a moment. Okay, I'm waiting. We'll see if we progressed with this. It could be a success. Got a DVD player in there, that's good. So, not much connections at the front, which is good. Only no, just a USB. Um, headphone and uh, the microphone. Let's start with region. Is this correct? What country are we in? Well, I'm going to turn the, uh, the mouse on, won't I? Okay, that's on. Let's see if we can progress. I'll get back to you after because I've got to work this out. <laughs> oh, now, I've been really, really busy. Doing chores, yes, chores, house chores, mopping the floor. I've got to mop that yet, and uh, so I've been cleaning out my fridge, which is over there. Cleaned all the bread, cleaned the fridge out. A lot of food that's been left there for, for yonks. <laughs> so um, busy day. So I've got a lot to do this week. I've got a very busy week. Uh, I've got. A, Try and clean this kitchen up and then the, la the lounge room and then uh, all the other rooms that I've got in the house because it's getting near the time now to start thinking about renovation getting getting rent a house to rent so that means I'm gonna have to move out of here mm. and this could take weeks could take a month or two to move everything out so that's going to take a while so during the process now there could be a time I'm not too sure it could be in June it could be July that I might have to stop stop uh, my YouTube vlogs and uploads probably for a while until I settle into another home um, and everything's settled everything's connected then I'll spend more time with the videos so at the moment I'm going to be I'm going to be struggling um, to do videos and uploads. Um, so I'm going to have to bear it and square it. <laughs> so I'll just, in other words, I'm not going to have much time to do any filming, any uh, uploads with videos on YouTube. So um, it could happen in June, it could happen in July. We don't know um, because things are starting to move a little bit. 
and uh, because my sister will be coming in to do some cleaning out a bit of the rubbish down the shed, the garage, whatever, um, do some work around. So uh, seems as though um, you know it could be the time to start thinking about getting rent. Mm. Um, I had a suspicion that something's that's going to come up sometime or sooner or later. Yeah. So, anyway, um, now I'm, I must apologise. I didn't put anything any music on the weekend uh, on Trev's music channel. That'll be up this weekend. So um, I didn't have time to do that either. <laughs> so we'll see how we go this week. Um, and I'll put one up on this weekend. May do one or two. Um, yeah. So things are going to get a little, not only. The house is going to get busy, but also going to get busier with my work, with my job, community driving. So that's going to get busier and busier because now the lockdowns um, are easing and things will become normal, uh, especially in June. And uh, I could be working five days a week of driving. So anyway, so that's the way things go. But I'm still flogging. I'm still uploading uh, at the time being for a little while um, until the time... Time will come to start moving out because um, it's going to be a big job. It could take weeks and maybe off for a month or two. So, um, but anyway, that's the way it is. Anyway, I'm going to finish this vlog and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I shall see you Thursday night for an upload. Great Harmony. Peace. Bye. Never know what I get up to next. <laughs> well, time to. Vacuum the floors and mop, so I've got more chores to do. Bye.